Hi, Brian here with another update on my aquaponic systems. Um, in this video, I'm just going to show the replacement of the pump to my outdoor aquaponic system. So as you can see here, the flow had gotten to be really slow. Um, and basically, the siphons were not cycling properly. Um, and so some tanks were just kind of staying at a steady level. So I decided to go ahead and replace the pump. Um, seems like all the algae and gunk that build, built up over time caused my old one to slow down. So I bought this one. Um, it's a 400 gallon per hour pump. Again, got it off of Amazon. Should be about twice as powerful as my old one. Um, and this one also has a built-in filtration uh, area. Um, so hopefully that'll slow down the buildup of algae and stuff um, and protect the impeller better. It came with a bunch of attachments or fittings um, and they thread in uh, rather than uh, fit in snugly so they should be nice and secure. Um, there's a, a number of different diameters. Um, unfortunately they don't line up with your typical PVC diameters. Um, they're more for I guess flexible tubing um, so you may have to kind of uh, figure out a way to make it fit normal PVC. Um, I had to do that. Um, as you can see the uh, old pump I had I was able to get to fit um, some pretty standard sizes. I had to come up with some ways of stepping down to make them fit but I was able to get it to just snug in there. Um, on this system though it didn't fit any of those diameters quite right um, but it did come close. One of the sizes did come close to fitting in to my main, main, uh, main PVC. So with the heat gun, I was able to uh, widen di the diameter of that pipe just enough to snug it in. Um, and so that worked pretty well. So after that, um, I was able to screw on and attach the pipe. And I worked it down in the, in the tank. Um, but <laughs> sure enough, as soon as I turned it on, I didn't see any water flow. So I pulled it back out and looked into what the issue was. Um, First of all, it, uh, the, the PVC pipe didn't fit snugly enough onto the pump um, to stay on, so I think it fell off. And so that was one of the reasons I didn't see any water flow, is that it wasn't attached to my pipe. But before I put it back in, I did want to test out the pump and make sure that it was working. And when I did that, I just put it in a bucket and had it cycle. And the pressure did not seem to be nearly strong enough to, to do what I wanted it to do. Um, and so initially I was kind of concerned, but I let it run for a while. I knew these things have kind of a break-in period. And sure enough, after several minutes, it kind of immediately just started uh, flowing really strong. So uh, just a word of caution, if you get one of these pumps, um, let it run for a, a few minutes before you judge the, the pump's output. Um, it'll probably get a lot stronger if you wait. So with that figured out, I, um, I basically fixed the the detachment problem by drilling a small hole and then screwing in a screw through the PVC pipe into the pump fitting um, and that'll keep it from slipping off. So um, I reinstalled the pump and as you can see the water flow is now really strong. Um, it got even stronger after this video as time went on um, and it's now now cycling my siphons quite nicely. So it seems to have solved the problem and it's working well. So um, the takeaway is if you're going to build a system of this size, uh, a 400 gallon per hour pump seems to be a pretty good size to use. Thanks for watching.